Ha! Alright, so I spent my weekend trying to get Crazy Taxi to work via uh, my TMX Force Feedback Pro racing wheel. Um, I finally had success, but it was not all that fun. Um, but hey, let's quick just see how it works here. Alright, original. And we'll play for three minutes. I probably won't play the whole three minutes, but I'll just show you here. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Got yeah, my pedal down there. So it works with my pedal and the racing wheel. All right, come on, get in here. Now I'm playing through the camera, so this should be a lot of fun. And I'm also like stepping back. Oh God, ah, that sucked. All right. See if I can deliver this person on time. Gosh. Oh! Why do you tell me at the last minute? Get my way. This is really fun playing like this. Okay, this is. All right. Well, anyway, it's really hard to play one-handed looking through a phone. But anyway, now you see that's using the wheel. So anyway, let's talk about the problem that I ran into. Um, so give me a second here. I'm going to turn the screen around. So for those of you that may not know, um, Steam, the version of Crazy Taxi, which is what I got downloaded, um, does not work out of the box with analog control. So you can't use a thumbstick, um, you can't use specifically here a steering wheel. And so um, there is a mod out there, and I'll post the description in the mod, and um, it allows you, supposedly there's two mods, and I haven't gotten the second one to work yet, but the first one was specifically for analog controls. The second one is they scrapped the soundtrack with the Steam version, so if you want the original Offspring soundtrack, there is supposedly another mod for that, um, but I have not gotten that to work. But I'll post, the um, it's both by the same shop, and I'll post the link to their website, which shows you how to install the mod. But after I got the, in the mod installed, I had some trouble, and I'll show you the trouble that I had here. On the screen, so whenever you launch Steam now, you get two options when you're launching a Crazy Taxi. You'll get Play the Game or Configure Crazy Taxi. Um, and so when you go into cra Configure Crazy Taxi, um, you'll be able to go over, you'll get this screen. And I would go over to, oh, come on, can I do this? Yeah, I would go to Input. No, come on. Oh, my word, this is so hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Okay, input, okay, there we go. And I would go down and change my input device to the racing wheel, and all was good until I would go down here and set one. So if I would go down here and say I wanna set this button, oh, come on. All right, I would say the horn is gonna be, uh, what did I have it set as? Uh, I will set it as Y. All right, notice what happens. The uh, this thing just keeps scrolling and you won't be able to set any more buttons. And it took me forever to figure this out and it was so simple. Um, and that's why I'm making this video because I just wanna show you what you do. Um, so to get rid of this, all you gotta do is close out of this, all right? And on your PC, you're gonna wanna go to joy.cpl. So just open your start window there um, and search up joy.cpl, and that will bring up this screen. And as long as you have your Thrustmaster software installed, um, so if you don't have the Thrustmaster software for this particular racing wheel installed, you'll need to go to the Thrustmaster website and get that and download it and install it. Uh, but once you have it installed, if you go click on the Thrustmaster wheel and go to properties, the fix was you'll notice that when I have separate here, it has the slider zero, Y axis is zero, and the RZ axis is zero, or in, in the middle here. And so what I did was I just went and made this combined, which actually uh, hit OK. And then after you go in and hit properties, so it took me forever to find that, but it looked like the uh, correct option was combined. And then, so then if you go back to Steam 
and you right click and you, or you go to play and you go to configure crazy taxi now knock on wood when I go in here and I change my input device to the racing wheel and I go down here to my horn and I press for the Y button to be my horn it no longer does it and I'm able to go through and set all my buttons here's how I have all my buttons set up um, the up button I have set to uh, this paddle right here um, the down button I have set to this paddle right here I'm sorry other way around I have up set to this paddle and down set to this paddle and that seemed off to me um, but that's the way I did it for this one to go down in a menu and this one to go up in a menu um, so I had to kind of set them backwards on the screen, which was weird. Um, and then left is turning the wheel left, right is turning the wheel right, start I have set to the start button on the controller, acceleration was my, um, the, uh, the foot pedal, the acceleration of the foot pedal, and the brake was the accelerate, or the uh, brake pedal. And then with Crazy Taxi, you have your drive in reverse, which I set my A button to be drive and my B button to be reverse. So if I need to go in reverse, I set B and then I can accelerate and it'll go, you know, backwards. And then lastly, I set my horn to the Y button here. Um, not that I really plan on using it all that much, but um, that's it. And then after that, you just go in here, hit play. And like I said, it'll come up. Right, and so I hit the start button here. There we go. I can navigate, navigate using these paddles here. Press the A button to go in. And there you go. And that's how you uh, set it up. So hopefully this saves somebody out there. I'm not sure if it's just specific to this racing wheel. Um, but uh, again, it took me forever to figure it out. I went through a whole bunch of other options that were suggested. Um, when at the end of the day, that's all it was. Um, just to also quick show you um, for this specific game, just kind of a thing. I set my rotation angle all the way down to 140. It just, or 150. It just makes it um, easier. When you have 900 on this game, uh, it, you have to spin the wheel like crazy to even get a barely get a turn. So this was comfortable for me. You can adjust that rotation setting as you like. Um, the gain settings, um, I did set damper down to zero and I turned off um, actually, yeah, I turned off the overall strength of all forces, so I guess the, none of these matter. I might go ahead and, and add them back. I had it at 100% and it was like killing, like my wheel was just constantly turning for me um, to try and get auto-centered and it, it was making the gameplay kind of miserable, so I just turned off the force feedback. Um, but I may just like start like giving 5% to try that out. But um, those were the two important things as well as, you know, this big one, which is setting this to combined. And uh, that's it. Hope this saves you some time.